Right on, welcome back guys. So we were at the uh, yard to pick this thing up and we did that and had a stuck wheel and that wasn't the end of the world at all. So we got the stuck wheel dealt with, put it back on, still didn't want to really move on its own. So I ended up tying my truck to it. And once I had the truck tied up, then I pulled it and we were back in business. Why is this one sticking? Oh, there we go. So, little pull with my truck there. It all came undone, just perfect. How I'm always saying. So, the drive was like a 20 minute drive. Nothing too crazy. My truck here that I'm using to tow actually got into a pretty bad T-bone there. I did just before June or January. And, uh, you know, it definitely uh, was a total loss from the insurance company out here. So the truck's going to be going away, but it still served me right for one more tow. So I'm just going to connect the battery here and show you why I bought this thing. There we go, that's that. I guess we gotta pull the tracks out. Don't really want a four by four this thing, but we're free on there. We'll pull out the gates and then we'll keep going. So, bear with me. So it's a 1970 Chevrolet C20. It's got rust as you can see, but it's really not a big deal with the front fender and the cab mount. I bought this really because of the 350 and TH400 in it, and it's pretty good in it. It runs good. The gas tank, we found out, is leaking, which is no good, but I'm gonna show you right now. We just touched the key. And there you go. No complaints. This thing's got some Stuart Warner tri, tri gauges, so old school Stuart Warner. I bought it. My favorite part is this 1950s shifter in it. And it's just a old school shifter. So it is an automatic, but the brakes barely work. Let's take one more look here and we'll do the Hail Mary and get this thing off the truck. All right, let's give her. I think we're okay there. gotta commit and if, if it's a fail it's a fail <laughs> but here we go yeah so you know right there you know the motor idles off great this thing's gonna be just perfect for a little street rod drivetrain at the worst case scenario but you know fenders for this thing are what like 50 bucks a piece I'd like to get a 67 hood for it that's if we do this thing you know realistically you know, I'm into it for scrap value. So if I put it together, I don't know, these things go for around 20, right? If it's painted. So I should be able to do 12 or 15, worst case scenario, but who cares about all that? Let's take a quick look here at the gauges just so you see what I'm saying. But yeah, that little tri-power deal or tri-pack gauge there. The battery gauge doesn't work, but I love the Stuart Warners. And then this old school shifter for it. That thing's just begging to go into a, into a street rod, right? So definitely rust. Surprisingly, no tears in the bench seat. So I mean, I'm gonna make my money back on this and probably be able to keep the drivetrain. So I'm useless, right? So either way, she's back at the shop. 
and it's another try, right? So let's do one more walkthrough. 1970 C20. So it's got the big stud wheels on it, and uh, I think there's an extra trailing arm inside of here. Oh, there's two. So we've got the trailing arms too, which is nice. And the brake lights stay on, so obviously there's something going on there, but you know. That's all we can do is keep going. Thanks for checking it out. And we're going to do some more I don't even want to wash it. It's just people will be like mortified by how ugly it is. So I'm totally cool with that. But I'll get this truck packed up the rest of the way and ditch my trailer around the back and there we go.